Hello Leo, welcome to Tarot So Fine. Today is Friday, April the 24th, 2020, and I'll be doing your general tarot card reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last week of April, going into May. And for your reading, I'll be using the Tarot de la Nuit tarot deck. So, let's see. What do Leos need to know at this time? What do Leos need to know at this time? What do you need to know, Leo? Let's find out. What does Leo need to know at this time? The two swords popped out. Let's see if it shows up again. So, Leo, what do you need to know at this time? One more. Okay. First card is the King of Pentacles. Second card is the Eight of Wands. Third card is the Tower. <laughs> something big happening, something sudden, unexpected. Fourth card is the Hierophant. And the bottom card is Justice. Underneath that was the Queen of Wands. That's your card. See? Queen of Wands. Whoa! Underneath that is the King, King of Wands. Okay, we have a couple down there, so interesting. Anyways, let me have a look here. You have three major arcanas. Important time for you. Big energy here. Hmm. Something big is coming suddenly and swiftly something you didn't see coming could it be from this king of pentacles here this is someone who is uh, very grounded they're very sure of themselves they know what they want they acquire what they want uh, they have their finances in order And here we have the Hierophant. This is uh, relates to Taurus. So some of you may be dealing with a Taurus, but not necessarily. Um, so um, I feel like uh, with the Eight of Wands and the Tower... You're going to receive news uh, that you weren't expecting. It's going to come to you all at once. Things will move quickly from there. And it can involve, uh, with the Hierophant and the Justice, it could have something to do with um, this person wanting to uh, make a commitment to you. With the Justice card, I'm also getting somebody may want to make things right with you because they want to have a commitment with you. This person, this person here, whoever this is, they may have uh, been resistant in the past. Uh... They may have been resistant. They may have been, uh, maybe they might, might have been uh, stuck in their ways, in, uh, in what they believe in, or how they, uh, 
how they go about things with the Hierophant. You know, maybe they've always had a way of uh, approaching something or a relationship here. And the, um, that's what I would be getting with the Hierophant here as well. But um, the tower brings down structures. So with these two together, it's breaking down uh, tradition. It's moving quickly in a new way, a different way. Um, because whatever uh, modus operandi of the past, uh, something was in balance. So justice comes into the picture to level things down, to make things right. So the new... The new foundation will be uh, a lot more fair here. So, um, if this is your story, what it's telling me is that this person, um, they see you as the queen of wands that you are. They see you as... Um, dazzling, you know, they see uh, your they see your strength, your feminine strength as uh, as a fire sign. They see um, you're like their superstar. That's <laughs> what I'm getting. It looks like she's uh, putting on a show here. She's standing in all her glory, and they see that. You are very strong and confident this week. And I think that uh, I feel like she's standing there. I feel like she stood her ground. She knows her value here. And this person sees that now. So they're going to come clean. This sounds very specific. So it's not going to relate to everyone, of course. So um, if it doesn't relate to you, look at uh, your rising, your moon, and Venus. Um, let me see if I can uh, get anything else out of this. Okay, so this could actually, uh, for some of you, it could, if it's not a relationship, it could be that um, you're a performer. This is, again, specific, but in a different way. I see her as a real performer here. Uh, you may be in the performing arts or out in public somehow. You put yourself out in the public eye. And there may be someone that can uh, really help you. Uh, because this King of Pentacles, he can be a philanthropist. He, he can offer a lot of support to others because he's already established his own wealth. And he respects value, so I feel like there may be somebody around you who respects what you offer the public in whatever capacity that is. Whatever it is that you do that shines, they see that, they respect that, and they, um, they see value in it. So they may have held back and just watched you in the past, but now I feel like they're going to... Uh, communicate with you and you'll be shocked by this because you won't be expecting it at all and uh, they may want to um, they may want to uh, offer you some kind of contract with the Hierophant and the uh, Justice card they may want to seal some kind of deal with you uh, in whatever it is that you do whatever way it is that you put yourself out there so that's a really beautiful reading, too. It's very good, but uh, be ready for some kind of uh, major shakeup, something you didn't uh, see coming. 
and it's going to come all at once and most likely well obviously through uh you know the internet because the eight of wands can have to do with uh travel it have it it has to do with travel uh communication um all kinds of communication so uh some of you uh may be um using the internet as a form of uh uh, whatever it is that you, uh, I see performance a lot here, whatever, in whatever way that is. Uh, and uh, naturally, right now, uh, that's the best we can do, right? Communicating through the internet. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a really amazing uh, reading. So, uh, give me a like if you enjoyed that. Let me know what's going on, and I'm really curious. Give me a like, yeah, share, subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. And uh, we'll see you for the following read. Bye for now.